Well, I think it was picking up the pieces of doll clothes at about age three under my mother's sewing machine. <laughs> I have a, a, a little slate that has me drawing on it, I think, about age three or four. There was no question what I was going to do in life. <laughs> I went to school and that was my interest always, art and fabrics and, and I just started work very early. I think probably my first project I did when I was about 14. Well, I think it was in high school and it was the 12 Dancing Princesses and I designed and cut and sewed all of them. And from that time, I knew I wanted my own studio too. So that came eventually, not too long into the career. Well, it was very corporate when I began with all the major studios. I knew that I wanted my own studio so that I could control that instead of being controlled by the different studios. I bought a little studio on Third Street. It's a little three-story fun place. It's full of junk and wonderful old pieces of lace and fabric and, and that's where I work and I can control that. So that's the difference. In other words, today you can control your own fate. Forty years ago, you couldn't. You had to go by the rules of the, of the uh, different studios. Well, from the script, you get your clues, and then you start sorting through and, and picking up those clues and putting them together. Um, I generally think in the possibility of line and color and material. Material is very important in creating a character because you may do something that's soft and diaphanous or maybe you will do something that's very hard edge. And that has a great deal to do with the character because of the essence of that fabric. I don't know whether people think of that or not, but fabric comes very important, becomes important. I would say that B. Arthur on Maud was one of my favorite characters because she could not move without being funny if she wanted to be. Uh, I've never seen a person that could turn her back to the camera and lift one shoulder and get a laugh. It's, I, I think she was a wonderful artist. Well, her attention span was about one and a half minutes. So when I had to fit her, I came very well prepared quickly and um, it was over in three minutes practically, which is one reason that her clothes may have looked as though they were repetitive because I had about three basic patterns so that I didn't have to fit on her. I would hang them from the shoulder and get a length and and that would be it. I'd cut and, and you make it in many different fabrics and so you got around looking repetitive when you could. Study art, go to museums, begin to think about what you see in different terms. That way you will begin to develop the character that you're looking for of that particular artist or person. That's the beginning.